హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు సి షాప్ ఇంటర్మీడియట్ టు అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ట్యూటోరియల్ నౌ యూ ఆర్ వాచింగ్ పార్ట్ త్రీ ఆఫ్ ది వీడియో సి యాష్ మాస్క్ ఎడిట్ కంట్రోల్ సో హియర్ ఫర్ కన్వీనియన్స్ వీ ఆర్ కాలింగ్ ఇట్ యాస్ మాస్క్ ఎడిట్ కంట్రోల్ ది యాక్చువల్ కంట్రోల్ నేమ్ ఈస్ మాస్క్ టెక్స్ట్ బాక్స్ కంట్రోల్ సో దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ద preview from previous two videos first we learned about the basics of the mask edit control then we talked about the example so in this video we will learn about the mask property so the mask property sets the text format so that input will come in a specific formatted way so that's the purpose of the masked edit right so so this property also decides which keystroke to process and which one to skip so based on the more a mask property we will process and allow some keystroke and we will skip some keystroke below table below table shows mask letters and its uh, meaning so here if you see there are multiple mask characters so based on this only we formed our example so if it is ash you can type plus or minus in the place holder and it's optional that means uh in the place holder you can type anything or you can skip but if you are typing you have to type either plus or minus the same way you have to read the other mask character zero that means here it will allow uh zero to nine and it's a required uh, mask that means uh so if you remember for date and time we have the mask like this right that means user should type all six place holder and in that place holder only 0 to 9 digit will be allowed so other than that if user type something the character will get skipped so only the number 0 to 9 will be allowed in each place holder position so 0 means 0 to 9 and that's required so here it is optional ash then if we have 9 it still accept 0 to 9 just like the previous one but here it will be optional so if user types something in the placeholder it should be 0 to 9 otherwise they can skip it similarly capital a is alphanumeric required that means the letters a to z as well as number both will be allowed but uh, user should type it uh either digit or letter they have to type it's required but if it is smaller case a the same type like this but it's optional so that's how the mask character works so here if you see l a to z and a to z letters required question mark letters a to z as well as a to z so what's the difference between these two a a l question mark here it allows number as well but here number is not allowed only uh, the english letters are allowed and l means required and question mark if you place it's optional so based on this combination you can form the mask letter now let us understand the meaning of the character with the preset value here here if you see we have five preset masks so these masks helps in getting the formatted input as well as the keyed in character will be validated uh, during the key type time itself so here ash that means plus or minus will be allowed and zero zero that means user should type a number and it is required mandatory this ones are literal these are all constant literals that means uh, this will get displayed always and here 999 that means uh, 
um, the uh, numbers are optional here within this a bracket that's why we use the 99 and you can see how we are forming the mask so this mask character is important each one represents one mask placeholder similarly here we specified alphanumeric the first letter is required and the remaining are not required but if user types something then that should be alphanumeric they cannot type a special character here all right next one you can see it's to uh, accept uh, uh, money value then this is for uh, uh, timestamp that's all and there is one more character you can uh, look at this uh, table and you can understand this yourself and this dot is a uh, literal constant uh, literal all right now if you see what we do we take our masked input control that means a masked text box and we named it as masked input and here if you see we are using the mask property and these are all the radio button and we are directly assigning the radio button say text here to the mask because the mask accepts in a string and here we are directly assigning this string to the mask so that's all here we are rad mask one rad mask two these are all our radio button control names check the change the event we are handling then we are assigning the text directly to the mask property of our uh, mask edit control now we will go to the demo so here i am double clicking the form so we have to handle so i'm clicking the property check to change it right here we have to select this event if we are in properties select event then handle it so in the event handler as already explained in the code we are just setting the mask uh, property now let us uh, run this and uh, we will examine it first uh, let's uh, use this one and uh, you can see these are all the placeholder and there are two mask literal this one is one mask literal and this is one more mask literal now let's start typing something i am placing the cursor at very first location and i'm typing the letter a and if you see it won't hollow a why because zero means it accepts zero to nine so here i'm hitting a nothing happens but the moment I start typing number that will get uh, fed into the control. So now I am typing 20 hour 15 minutes. So when I type 1 you can see the cursor automatically moves to the next placeholder location. Now I am hitting 1 and you can see how it is jumping to the uh, next placeholder. 15 then I'll type 45 now so that's all so here the mask characters are filled now let's uh, delete this then we will type here if you see since it is ash I can type plus or minus on that placeholder location then 55 after that this 999s are optional and if i type english letter it won't move that means uh, at present i am hitting f and it is not moving now i am hitting 3 and you can see it is moving now i am typing plus it is not allowed but here in the ash uh, i mean in the very first placeholder it allowed the plus now i will type minus it will allow that as well So any number is allowed 
and the English letters are not allowed here I am typing D that is not allowed there let me go back and place plus here here this is optional but you can still type something so how the optional and required fields are validated that we will see in some other video for now you can check how the mask letters are working this one if you see the first character I cannot remove all right that's all about the mask property So just now you watched the demo, code snippet is available in the video description. Thank you for watching. Bye.